What is up guys, Lunakage here, and well, if the uh, title of the video and that intro didn't tell you, I am playing Final Fantasy VII now, and uh, let's see how this goes. My very first time uh, even attempting to let's play an RPG, so let's see how, uh, how well that goes. I guess I should, um, maybe I could read the text bubbles? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, first thing, very first secret, I guess you could say, in the game. Those two potions right there. Uh, funny story, when I was a kid, I used to think that this guy held one, and then that guy down there held the other one. But you could check either one of them and get one of, and get, uh, get both potions. But it doesn't stack, so it's kind of weird. It's like both of them share the same, um, the same, I don't know, thing. Um, something that you guys might notice uh, of me is that I'm not a really big magic user when it comes to the games that, uh, that you don't have a job class in. Um, I like to attack. I don't know why. It's just kind of my thing. Um, in later games, obviously, well, earlier and later, I guess you could say, where, uh, where everyone has a job class, then yeah, I mean, magic is imperative. But uh, as far as black magic goes in this game, I use it kind of seldomly. Wow, you used to be a soldier, all right. <laughs> I'm so bad at this right now, I don't even know. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? Shut up, bitch. Oh. He was a soldier. He quit him and now is one of us. This dialogue is spectacular. Didn't catch your name. Alright, uh, I guess for the purpose of the Let's Play, I'm not going to use my my standard um, name here. I'm just going to use my, well, my, uh, my uh, name that I go by online and YouTube and all that shit. It's the very first time I've ever named Cloud Lunakage. It's, it's kind of strange. Let's go. Lunakage. I am the Moon Shadow. I am badass. I don't give a fuck what your name is. It doesn't matter what your name is. Oh, the crowd goes wild. What the hell y'all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Oh, he's so funny. Targets North Mako Reactor. Ma Mako? 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 I don't know, Barrett's saying it, so it must be Mako. Mac. Mac Daddy. Alright, I'm going to name everybody after uh, friends of mine. And I know just the guy for Barrett. Let's see. Uh, do they have any symbols? I guess they don't have any symbols. Damn. Okay, so I'm going to go with... It's Fitty. Not Fitty Cent. It's Fitty Yen. Maybe I, maybe I should put Yen. What does that look? Fitty Yen? <laughs> Kinda like that. Maybe, maybe I should make it the number 50. Uh, choices, choices. 50. 50 yen. I kinda like that. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. 50 yen. Aw, oh, yeah, look at that. 50 yen. <laughs> He's telling us how to run. And, uh, I imagine it might have been a little slow moving if, uh, you didn't know how to run before this point, but I always knew how to run. Even when I was, uh, even when I was a little Jimmy. Got you guys running around here. Uh, can we get stuff over here? I never really bother checking. I always just make a beeline. So I guess we'll go. We could actually run into fights like I just did, um, in this particular area. First experience with random encounters, go! I guess we'll kill these guys with magic just to show it off. Getting hentied up in this bitch. Ice. Doof. Dead. Fuck. <laughs> oh, it's slow. Maybe I should up the time. I probably should configure my options here. Bolt. Um. I wonder. Cause I, I'm not. I'm not big on the legacy titles yet. Um. I, I never really played any of them except Final Fantasy 1 for any period of time. 
so I can't exactly say, but... When was... was this the first game that used the, you know, Bolt, Ice, Fire, 1, 2, and 3? And when did they start using the Thundera, Fyra, Fyraga shit? Because I kind of like that better now. God, what was I doing? Oh yeah, kind of big. This talking's gonna fuck me up. Stereo's good. I'll leave the controller like this. I don't mind it like this. It's, uh... Um... Recommended, I guess. I, I don't know. Battle speed. We're obviously gonna go fast. Battle message. Go a little bit faster. Field message. Hell yeah, fast. Fast as fuck. Alright. Gary Manga auto's fine. Magic order's fine. Uh, do we want a different window color? Uh, now nah, we'll leave it blue. I'll leave it blue. Alright. I like putting the main character in the middle there. Don't judge me. He's guarding. Fat man is doing something that involves less running. Okay. I could say that because I'm fat. I guess. Yo, is this your first time in the reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Bitch. Planet's full of. Me I'm gonna. I'm really gonna have to learn how I want to pronounce that for this, don't I? Uh, I guess Mako is probably be the correct pronunciation. It is kind of Japanese sounding. I always used to pronounce it Mako. I'll, I'll go with Mako. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. So why do we want to destroy it? It's the lifeblood of this planet. Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. All right. Now we just had a big black man enter inside of us. Code decipher. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Think of how many of our people risked their lives just for this code. I wonder what it is. Deciphered? Oh, man. That was the same as the last code. Lucky for us, it was so... Difficult. Phoenix down. What items do we start off with again? Let's see here. Uh, okay. It's pretty limited. You go here. Okay. Put you in the back row. Right. Get this elevator action going. Push that button over there. Okay. Switch on. Well, that little blue symbol up there says like five, seven, five, seven. Which one is it? It's not our floor, is it? Because then we're just kind of stuck here. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all of the life, and that'll be that. It's not my problem. I'm here for the money. Planet's dying, Luna Cage. Only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Arg, you're such a dick. I don't know. I couldn't think of an animated enough word. I wanted to say something silly, like an old man would say, like whippersnapper or something, but that'd be stupid. Yeah, apparently we're still on floor seven five. I'm going to try and make this LP as spoiler-free as I possibly can. Um, I'd love to make references, but, you know, sometimes. Uh, I guess I should explain for new people uh, the elemental stuff. Uh, machines? Always weak against electric attacks. So Bolt fucks them up. Look at that, 176. That was ridiculous. For right now, at least. That's what I love about the series, um, the little consistencies that they got a lot of the times. Like, in any Final Fantasy game, you shoot th you shoot electricity at a fucking machine, it's going to go down quick. Um, certain other things are there too, but they're not quite as prominent as that. Um, those fucking things, I hate them. Took a long time. Ugh. 
Alright. Um, you know, it, it's funny. I am actually... I know a lot of people have problems with uh, grinding. They don't like doing it. But I'm a huge fan of grinding. I, I, I love that shit. It's like a pastime for me. I could just chill, put on a podcast or maybe some music, and uh, just fucking start grinding. It's... But, I mean, obviously this is a Let's Play, so I can't do that. Plus, like, it would be kind of boring. Um, and I'm not talking about the grinding process, obviously. If I were to grind, I'd probably do that off camera. But, I mean, it wouldn't be that entertaining if I were to just, like, grind a bunch at my favorite grind spot and then just kind of dominate the rest of the game, would it? I don't, I don't know. Maybe this will be uh, my first playthrough in a while where I kind of challenge myself by not really doing the kind of shit I normally do. Alright, those sweepers can be kind of a bitch sometimes, so I'm going to take it out real quick with this bolt spell. <laughs> Zap! Dead. Beam gun. So, this game, um, at least disc one, for me it goes in certain periods. There's uh, the dark period, which is basically all of Midgar. There's the light period, which is when you exit Midgar, find out that there's there's an outside world. There's uh, there's the weird period, which happens after Junan, 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 Junan. J J J Johnan. Uh, it's weird to me. I, I don't know. That that part of the game is really weird to me. Um, it, it gives me a weird feel. And then uh, right before Rocket Town is when it's uh, when it starts getting better for me. Okay, so I've planned it out, and I'm going to use three save files for this LP. The first one is going to be the main one that I always load up and always spam saves on. Second one is going to be for um, post-game style stuff because uh, obviously I want to take on the weapons and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm not going to do that before I beat the game or else it'll be a very anticlimactic final boss. I had to learn that myself the hard way. So basically I'll beat the game slot one, load it back up, and then uh, do the stuff from there. And then my third slot is going to be my, what I call, backup. Um, so basically, I'm going to save right now. Alright, save here. Like, these two are going to be saved a lot. This one is basically going to be saved every time I verify that's, uh, that the video that I just recorded is good to go because nothing will suck worse than recording three hours worth of footage and then finding out something was fucked up with it. So now you've got to, you know, you're, you're trapped with these two save files here. Like, for example, say at a certain point in the game, like I reach, I, I exit Midgar and stuff, and it's all good. I record three hours, three hours of footage after that. But then... I find out that that three hours of footage is dead. So it's like, well shit, I've only got this footage. Like, and now, now my save files right here are so far ahead of where I need to be right now in order to salvage this, uh, this playthrough here. So yeah, that's how I'm going to do it there. So right now it's going to be empty, because obviously if this footage dies, then I'm going to you know, redo it from the beginning basically. But we should be good. Um, till then. So I, I, I'm always going to save these two. They'll only branch off basically at disc three. So I know it's going to be a lot of weirdness just saving over everything, but it's whatever. It's what I've decided to do. It's how it's going to work for me. So let's go. Let's fight our first boss. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to try and make this as spoiler-free as I can. Um... Because, I mean, I know 
the game is pretty legendary by now, but there's probably still plenty of people who haven't played it. And if I spoil it for one of those people, then shit, that would suck. You set the bomb, Luna. Shouldn't you do it? Nah, man. Nah. Fine. Alright, I'll do it. Shit. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. See, I don't understand. I don't understand what he's, what, what that was about. Because it is just a reactor. We, we never really... We never really get any confirmation on how this isn't just a reactor. There's like nothing. That nothing happens with that. that uh, pretty much just to inform you that there's a voice in his head. That's it. You really don't hear it again until later, but still, it's it's kind of stupid, I think. Alright, so we got this guard scorpion here. His gimmick is that uh, if you attack it with his tail up, he'll fuck your shit. Also, the search scope, he always uses that between attacks. It basically tells you um, who the next person he's going to attack is going to be. Strategy for the boss, simple. Just hit him with Bolt, and then attack with Barret, or Fitty Yen, and then you're good. Hit him with Limit Breaks whenever you get him, which should be quite a bit, because his attacks hurt just enough. You always want to wait, well not always, but I mean most of the time, you want to wait until he uses Search Scope before you make your decision to attack, because then you know that he's not going to put his tail up. Do -do -do. Oh, shot my ass, all right. See, Cloud's almost got his limit break. One more attack with Barret. Now we're going to wait. All right, he's putting his tail up, so we don't do shit. We just sit and chill. You could heal. Attack while his tail's up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, uh, that fucked me over when I was a kid. I saw attack while its tail's up, I'm like, alright, I'll do it! And then I attacked, and then I got fucking bodied every time. Alright, just putting it down. Now, keep on with the strategy. He goes down really quickly. A couple of rounds. It's no biggie. Um, where's my search scope? Who's he gonna attack? So, Cloud's gonna get a limit break. Uh, if he survives this next uh, round here. Which he should. I mean, he's got 800 hit points, so... Let's see if Braver can take him out. Do, do, do. Alright. Limit break. Braver. Let's fuck him up. Um, use this eight times, and you'll get cross slash. Oh, he's still alive. Fuck you. Barrett's about to get his limit break, assuming he lives. Like, he's he's probably almost dead. Like, I, I don't really keep track very good, but I imagine he's got to be close. Yep, he's gone. Finished him off as lightning. Every machine's best friend. So, yeah, as you saw, I didn't do any grinding for that boss. I, I just kind of... Assault gun. It's a weapon for Barrett. 50 yen. Oh no, come on, let's get out of here. Alright, he doesn't even ask questions. He's like, alright, ten minutes to detonation. Alright, that ten minutes is going to count down no matter what you're doing. So you want to make sure that if, you, uh, if you're if you in the menu for whatever reason... Let's quit bear with a salt gun. Um, if you're in the menu for whatever reason, do it quick. If you go to save, do it quick. Uh, if you get into fights and you're not going to run, do it quick. I'm going to go ahead and save. Even though, I don't know why I'm saving now, it's because I'll fucking... Oh, whatever. Uh, yes. Yeah. Save one more time. Alright. Alright, I think I'm going to let uh, every part be about 45 minutes, because um, I can upload videos that long. But... I don't. I, I would have done an hour, but that's cutting it really close to the, to the, um, to the uh, fucking two gigabyte mark. Uh, right there, what I just did. If you get yourself in a back attack situation, it will still, um, like for example, Barrett's in the front right now and Cloud's in the back. But 
if you do the uh, if you tap run really quick, you'll turn around so you don't take any extra damage from the back. So that's uh, that's a good thing there. It, it comes in ham handy during one particular boss fight. Oh no, random encounters. I, I want to try and get through this without having to heal. So let's see how that works. I mean, I'm doing pretty good so far. Warning, warning, enemy sighted. Fuck you, get shot. 13 damage for a fire spell? God, weak as fuck. Ugh. All right. Um, you can save limit breaks anytime if uh, if you have magic and uh, you want to save your limit break for a special situation, go ahead and do that. There's actually one particular boss that's coming up pretty soon. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, it's pretty soon That's um, that I do that with. Like, I two-shot it every time. I, I haven't not two-shotted it in a long time. And that's without grinding. Like, I'm not, I, know, I don't grind before this boss. It's just kind of, oh, let's, let's, uh, let's two-shot this boss. And uh, before I found out that handy little trick, I, um, I, I kind of used to have a lot of trouble with that boss. But we'll talk about that more when I get there. All these musics coming back to me and stuff. I'm gonna use uh, use big shot here. Oh no! You fired pixels at me. The 140, good shit. And they die in one slash, so it was kind of overkill. Overkills won't matter until Final Fantasy X. Okay. Yeah, we're almost out of here. Shit, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here before five minutes hit. Unless I get in another battle, which is a strong possibility, but... Even then, I might still make it out in four or five minutes. Uh, Jesse... James, I mean, uh, Biggs. Let's beat the five minute mark. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sweet, I beat the six minute mark. I'm so good. Then the reactor blows up. Oh, let's help up Jesse because we're, we're, we're a ladies man, I guess. All right, so the reactor blows up. Um... Apparently we didn't die despite being so very extremely close to it. But, you know, semantics, I guess. Semantics. That, that doesn't even make sense. I apologize for saying that. I should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah! Fat guy thinks he's helping. I like Wedge. He's fat. Everyone get back. We're going to do another explosion for some fucking reason. Never understood this part. Not at all. I did a roll. Barrett's like, yeah. They all run out. And of course the fat guy is the one whose pants caught on fire. Oh, Japan. You slay me. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Bitch, it's a bar. Spoilers. Hey. If it's about your money, save it till we're back at the hideout. Alright, fine, fuck. Guess I'll do that then. <laughs> All right. See, um, I always go through Yuffie uh, playthroughs. I always try to get to Yuffie to be the one that Cloud ends up dating. So, uh, as much as I'm the kind of guy who'd love to, you know, be nice to everybody, I pretty much have to abuse Eris in order just to fucking, you know, fuck with her. I, you know, normally I'd be like, hey, and buy a flower for her and give it to Tifa. Like, yeah, buddy, but nope, now I gotta threaten her. Get the fuck out of here, you bitch. Alright. And now she's leaving. Bye. So now I don't get a flower. Don't get to give it to Tifa. Don't even get the option to give it to Tifa, so... Dodge that bullet right away. It's really hard for me not to be nice to the girls, because they're all, they're all good people. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fight all of these guys, because, um... 
if I'm not going to be really grinding, then I'm going to make sure I get the experience that I can. So I'm going to take these guys out. Miss, uh... Okay, I got a potion from that too. Now some other guys are gonna come out. Gotta fight them. Is this a attack from both sides? I think so. Uh, nope, just three of them. Just attacking them. Come on. Act like you can really do shit to me. Ugh. My punches are stronger than my gunshots. Alright. Poor guys. They don't even stand a chance. Another potion. Comes in handy. Early game, at least. And one more battle. This is gonna be the attack from both sides. You could choose to run from every single one of them by selecting later, but uh, fuck that, I'm a man. Real men fight. Uh, yeah, you can't do the trick in uh, both sides situations. here a little bit. Doing pretty good on time here. 29 minutes, alright. Got about 15 minutes left. Gonna have time to be messing around with you guys. Um, instead of making it 45 minutes on the dot, I'll pretty much make it uh, whatever's closest to 45 minutes when I get to a save point. I think that's good enough. I don't want to fucking just be like, hey, it's in the middle of a dialogue, so I guess we'll call it quits here. No. Luna never came. Wonder if he was killed. No way. That's my boy. <coughs> they just don't think anything of it. It's like, gee, I wonder who's running on top. Think he's gonna fight to the end for Avalanche? Eh, probably not. If y'all weren't such screw ups, uh, how? How did how did they screw up? I don't get it. <laughs> I guess Barrett's just being a rough guy. Fiddy don't know how to take good news. Oh, look at that backflip! Oh man, everyone's so excited to see me and shit. Damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. She. It's no big deal. Just what I always do. Because I'm spiky as fuck. She. <laughs> you were worried about me? <laughs> what? I'm taking it out of your money, hot stuff. Who says hot stuff? Who? I ask of you. Everyone just giving me compliments. We'll do even better next time. And then, of course, you know, the girl instantly has a crush on me. Why wouldn't she? I'm the main character. I got that, you know, plot armor and shit. <clears throat> I wonder if any Final Fantasy main character has been like a lovable screw-up. I guess Titus could be considered that. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I guess Titus fits that, more or less. <sighs> that guy. Yeah, these trains I never really gave a shit. This is my house. Yeah, 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 I don't give a fuck. 
Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. You're so black, Barrett. Hey, Luna, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Bombs? Flashy? I mean, I guess. She explains to us a little bit about the uh, structure of Midgar. It's uh, 1 to 1,000 scale. Oh, so that means it's one. Th I mean, 10,000 times bigger than this monitor, then. I mean, support structure holding the plate up in the center. There are other support structures built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. <laughs> okay. So there's eight reactors. Gotcha. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. It's kind of place this is. Sounds to me like laziness. It's the route the train's on. The route spirals around the main support structure. We should be coming around the center area right now. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor device is set up. It can check the identities and background on each and every passenger on the train by linking it up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Anyone can tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you just, you know, tried to not look so suspicious? Like, do you have to wear the silly shit? It's not like your armor is really armor. <laughs> Alright. After flirting with Jesse a little bit... Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plant weren't there, we can see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. <laughs> Barrett's being black, huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world, the city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza. The people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. I'm black. On top of that, <laughs> it would only be better if that was D.A.T., but I guess this was before that time. Instead, Barrett's just going to have a bunch of uh, apostrophes in his text. Because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. This ain't fucking their land. This is... This is shit. Uh, this train can't go anywhere except the, where the rails take it. That's deep philosophical bullshit right there. Alright. I'm actually getting to uh, to a point where I'll probably call it quits. That's, I know it's not uh, a whole 45 minutes yet, obviously, but I mean, it's pretty close. Uh, it's right before another major part. So, yeah, we'll wait till we get to that uh, save point there. Everyone's uh, jumping out of the train and shit. Yo, get over here, all y'all. Oh, all y'all. <laughs> Not all y'all. That'd be too fun. This mission was a success. Don't get lazy now. Hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. How do you know? Aren't they all like the same? That's cool, though, I guess. Um, over here is Train Graveyard. Um, I don't think I can really get anything here right now, but uh, if you wanted to, for whatever reason, you could fight some uh, some sweepers. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight one or two right now. Uh, I don't I don't know if um, anything else besides sweepers show up here. It's been a while since I've been here because I usually find it kind of pointless to come here this early. You show up later, uh, and then there's no more sweepers. It's just like. It's just a thing. And he's dead.
Let's see. 27. Not that many. Let's fight one more, just for good measure. Uh, running around in circles. This is what you do in games with random encounters when you're trying to grind and stuff. Uh, come on. Come on. Jeez. This is taking longer than I expected. I just wanted to do it really quick. Fight two real quick battles and go on my way. Oh, look, the fire guys. Well, they still die in one hit, so they're not a threat to me. <laughs> Alright, and that was easy, as always. Okay, two potions, that's pretty good. Now we're going to uh, go on our way here. And, uh... Okay. Nope. Bye, guys. Oh, I could talk to this guy. Let's see what he wants to say. Hey, now. Oops. <laughs> That's weird. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out. Jeez. Huh? You come to see it, too? There's a bombing on top. Oh, wait. There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Okay. There's no point in worrying about that. Hey, look. It's huge, ain't it? Let's check it out. Yeah, back in the day, this was impressive as fuck. Like, it's kind of weird looking back on it now, how, uh, how, like, advanced the PlayStation uh, 1 was. It's cool to look at, though. Yep, that's going to be important later. Strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. Bye, bro. Alright. That's kind of cool, I guess. Yo, little guy over here now. Alright. Oh, well, fuck you. Go in here first. Yeah. Gonna do my savings. All right, I'm going to end it here. Um, good 40 minutes. All right, sweet. Uh, next time, we're going to go meet Tifa and then uh, have all kinds of fun there. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, do all those things that I'm supposed to say. And uh, I'll see you next video.